Hey YouTube, what's going on? I am here with my trusty assistant, Rascal, oh my God, <laughs> who's evidently gonna help me today, so uh, don't mind him. He will probably just be sleeping through this whole thing. Um, a few weeks ago, I posted on my Instagram story how uh, I had, was having a little bit of a shoulder flare up from a previous injury, and I was, um, I was putting on my story how I was training around it and modifying things and that kind of thing. And somebody reached out to me and said, you know, Susan, this would be a great topic for a video because so many people are out there active and they don't know what to do when they get injured. And I thought, yeah, what a, actually, what a great idea. Um, so the first thing I want to say about being injured is, you know, if you have an injury and it's been nagging you for a bit and everything, go see a doctor. Please, please, please go see a doctor and if they want to run tests or do whatever it is they want to do, let them, let them take a look at you. Um, because the more you know about what's going on, the more you can proceed with your training. Um, and I think that's really important. So always, always, always go see your doc first, okay? So the biggest thing about tra training with an injury, or just actually with an injury in general, is the mental game. Um, gosh, does this ever screw with your head? It did for me. Um, I played games with my head. I, ha I was thinking, okay, I can't do what I normally do, so now I am going to lose all my progress. I am going to um, stop building muscle. And uh, the worst part was I thought I was gonna get fat only because I couldn't do all the same exercises that I could do before. So if you think about that, or if you even say it out loud, it sounds ridiculous, but that's how I used to be. I used to think I had to work out six or seven days a week, 110%, go, 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 lots of volume, um, just to maintain what little progress I was actually making. And looking back on that, that's probably what contributed to my shoulder injury in the first place, was going so hard so many days. But here's what I've discovered. You don't have to be like that. Being injured is no fun. Let's just say that it's no fun. But it doesn't have to be the end of your training, like what I thought it was. Um, you can literally train around anything. Um, I don't care what the injury is. I have a client who had major leg surgery. We, she came to see me almost three days a week, and, and we could still work out. We just had to be creative. We would think out of the box and, and come up with different positioning, maybe different exercises. It is highly, highly possible to train around anything you want to do. And, and here's the thing. Movement is actually good to help your injury recover. Blood flow is what's going to help speed up your recovery. So instead of thinking, I can't do anything, I have to sit back and rest, that's the hardest mental piece of all, is when you feel like you can't do anything. You have to just wait for your injury to get better. That's the worst. And in fact, it might be the worst phys physiologically as well because you're not moving, you're not getting blood flow to the area as much as if you would be working out. So I think the top priority is let's get you moving. Now, if, if you have a shoulder injury like I do, um, that you know, you're not gonna press heavy shit over your head at the beginning. I mean, I can now, but when I was injured, I couldn't. And I wasn't gonna press anything out to the side like that either. For my shoulder injury, that was not gonna work. But what I, would, what I did with my coach is we found exercises that I could do that still kept me progressing. And the biggest part about that is it keeps you in the mental game. Instead of sitting back and doing nothing and letting it rest, you're being active, you're getting yourself something to do that is progressing you towards your goals instead of sitting back and waiting. There's nothing that will drive me crazier faster than sitting back and doing nothing. Um, I'm not built that way. I have to do something. And so it was just a matter of finding what I could do. For me with my shoulder injury, um, my coach 
was programming all kinds of horizontal rowing things for me to do. And most of those worked out just fine. So I was doing every kind of row variation you could imagine. Seated with a cable, one arm with a cable, dual with a cable, one arm um, rows. Um, I, could, I could actually even do underhand barbell rows. A lot of my inverted rows, all underhand. Um, Overhand grip, not so much for me. Underhand grip, I could really do quite a bit, actually. So we progressed me through horizontal pulling and sometimes some vertical pulling I could do as well, depending on the exercise. And so what that did for me, it kept me mentally in the game. Like I was still progressing. I didn't feel like I was injured, which was huge. I could still do legs too. Let's not lose sight of that. Like if your shoulder is injured, you know, maybe you can hold some weight in a goblet, maybe not, or maybe you can hold dumbbells down here, or maybe you can't hold any, but you know what? You can still work those legs. Heck, you can still squat. You can still make squats more difficult, whether you can add weight or just add a half rep or constant tension or a pause or whatever. There's many, many ways to make leg exercises more challenging. Um, you could lunge, you can do Bulgarian split squats, you could do leg machines. I mean, there's a, a ton of glute work you can do. There's just a ton of things you can do if you have an upper body injury which is exactly what I did. But we also found some upper body moves that I could still do. Push-ups I couldn't do for a while, but once I could, and I truly believe all the horizontal pulling I did do, got me back to push-ups really, really a lot quicker than had I just been letting my shoulder rest. Um, my dog also told me that getting blood flow to the area is, is the key in any injury healing. So even if you can't do much more than get up on the treadmill and walk, maybe walk some inclines then, get your heart rate jacked up, make your legs engage a little bit more. But if you can walk on a treadmill, you can squat probably, you can maybe even lunge and do some other leg exercises. I guess my point being with all of this is that whatever your injury is, you can find ways to train around it. I think you need to be smart about it, you probably need to be a little bit creative with it, but there are definitely things that you can do. And I think what you're gonna find is your injury will probably recover quicker. Um, at least hopefully it will move along a little bit more because you're moving, you're still being active, you're getting blood flow to the area. But even more important than that is that you're mentally back in the game. You're not sidelined um, thinking, I can't do anything. You can always do something. You know, I always thought if I ever broke my leg, and I've never broken a bone in my body, thankfully. Knock on wood. Um, but I always thought that if I ever broke my leg, I would be that person in the gym. I would still go to the gym. There would be zero reason why I would not go to the gym, except my gym has a bunch of stairs to get upstairs where everything is. That would probably be a problem. Um, but I would figure out a way to do it because I would find a way to torch my upper body. And if I couldn't stand on that leg, I would be sitting and I would be torching my upper body. There's just ways to rethink all of this. And I think when people get injured, if they sit back and don't do anything, I think that's where the mental game comes into play. It's so much harder and we're not moving, so we're not getting blood flow going. But all of this being said, you need to be smart about it. So if your doctor is specifically telling you you cannot do certain things because you will make your injury even worse, then you need to listen to that. And okay, so you don't do those things, but I guarantee you there are other things that you can do for sure. So if you ever have any questions about being injured, please send them to me. I would love to help you through um, an injury, working through some exercises that might be appropriate for you um, and and don't be afraid to try a few things you know you can try things with body weight um, you don't have to try things with heavy weight you know pick up a small dumbbell and see see how it feels but try something just try something don't sit back and wait try something move be smart about it and if I can help you in any way shape or form with your injury please let me know Leave a comment below, hit, hit, 
hit subscribe. Um, I'm going to be posting a little bit more on YouTube coming up in the future. Um, have some series, some things I want to I want to get out there. So um, hit subscribe so you know when everything's out. And if I can ever, ever, ever do anything for you, whether it's with injuries or anything else, please don't hesitate to ask. Have a great day, you guys. Talk soon.